Hey everybody, lots of questions about the lab notebook after lab this week. This is gonna be for our measurements lab. Now this, what you see, these tabs are gonna be what is expected out of all of the wet labs, okay? All of the wet labs, these tabs will remain the same. In the dry labs, like significant figures, nomenclature, molecular modeling, those are going to change according to protocol, okay? Those are going to change according to protocol. Whatever your protocol calls for, that's what those headings are gonna be. But when it comes to any wet labs, they're all going to be the same. So with that being said, let me just walk you through what my lab notebook looks like. Okay, so we have measurements. This is what's gonna be due, uh, what, or this is what was already due, the lab that we did this week. Um, and so you can use this to baseline what you're gonna do your metal oxide on because nomenclature is going to be a dry lab. So uh, the first thing I have is purpose. The purpose of this experiment is for us to blah, blah, blah. And I'd like a paragraph you know, three or four sentences will do. Not a big deal. Materials and chemicals are all in bullet, okay? They're all in bullet. There's no definition to it. It is literally a bullet list. Think of it as a shopping list. I'm going to take my iPad or my digital device up to the bench, right, and into my station, and I'm going to start grabbing all this stuff to take back to my bench to be able to work my experiment. So, just make it easy, the kind of bullet point that you might do for a shopping list, like at a grocery store. All right, so here's my procedure. I have number one, what I'm doing, and then in my own words, I bullet pointed them just so I could know that I got everything that I needed, unnecessary information, and then same thing, part two. This is what I'm doing for the burette thing, and so there are all the steps for that. Part three, Record all the liquids for the instruments uh, and all the instruments that were provided. That was your A, B, C, and D. And the Bunsen burner, which we did not do in class today. I did that for a reason. Your 5A data, I am totally cool with this. This is none of the questions. The only thing that's in here is not going to be any questions about calculations. It is graphs and it is blank lines. If you go back to your syllabus and you read 5A and what it entails, it will say, tables and blank lines. Nothing that says anything about calculations goes in this section. It is this, these are screenshots literally piled on top of each other, right? One, two, three. I, we cut them out. We put them into our 5A so I know coming in what I need to collect. I'll read my procedure, retrieve an unknown metal, write it down, measure the mass, okay. And I know I'm gonna need my mass right there. So let me go to my 5B. So my mass of metal, is this, okay, this is my A, B, C's, and D's, this is my description, because my procedure said I need a description, these are my, uh, my measurements, my solids, right, um, initial graduated cylinder, and then we have, we got the unknown liquid number two, that's what we did today, and I have trial one, trial two, trial three, with everything that I need to know within that trial, so this is a happy day, I have decided that we are going to remove the analysis section. We're going to remove the analysis section from our laboratory notebooks. I think that it is a little bit more confusing than it needs to be for summer and we're putting way too much energy into it. So just go ahead and take the analysis, analysis section right out. I can right click on that and then delete that page and done. Okay. My real, real world application, this is a pre-lab thing. This should be done before you turn your notebook in the night before. And I typically always go back and, and I'll make a note on there and I'll say, hey, come to me in class and tell me this. And I'll give you some bonus points if you get it right. Um, so you want to make sure to turn those in because like I told you guys, I like to give bonus points away like they are candy. All right. This is just, I just put stuff in here about cooking. I like to cook. And uh, if we're talking about baking a cake, we have to be precise in our measurements, get our levels right so that our cake rises appropriately or whatever the case may be. That was my real world, real world application. And then I have my lab report. And the lab report is the data sheet, the in lab, and it might say lab report. Now, this is an old one. This is the one I did this one originally. This is one I did as a student. Um, I did another one, the one that you guys did today, I did as uh, an instructor. 
here are all my calculations. Now, if we still have the analysis portion, this is what would go in the analysis portion. All your calculations is titled analysis slash calculation. So that's your analysis section. I went ahead and included it into, um, into my lab report, so I have it. But all your calculations have to be there. They have to be legible. You need to be circling your final answer. I don't want to have to guess what it is. If you think that I don't know, highlight it or circle it. And then I have my pictures and my video from today. When we were in lab today, went ahead, I put captions on them because I think captions are cool and I might want to know what those are later on down the road. I happen to take a selfie when my partner was doing all the work. So I like to make a note of that. Um, so this, I hope this has clarified some things for you guys. Like I said, for all of the wet labs, this will be the layout, okay? If you have questions, make sure you reach out to me via email. Um, otherwise, good luck and I'll see you guys next week.